we are talking about uh, entropy in information theory and here it is and what we are going to do is to try to develop the formula for the maximum entropy for a system system of n instances every instance has a probability of pi as you can see here and this is the entropy for the system so now we want to find the h max value namely for the system what is the maximum value for the entropy that can be and we want to use the Lagrange multipliers to get this derivative and how we got to this formula such as that the maximum entropy of the system of n instances each one with pi probability is h max equal to log with the base of 2 of n so how did we get to this so this is again the formula for the entropy and information theory pi is the probability of each instance being uh, chosen or if it's a coin what is the probability of head and uh, back uh, so uh, well, however you call it the probability for each instance is pi and we have n instances now all the probabilities should sum up to one so we have a constraint on this problem and we want to find the maximum of h so we have a an optimization problem with the constraint so what we are going to use is the Lagrange multiplier which is exactly used for this finding the op an optimization program for a problem with constraints so how Lagrange multiplier will we use it it will transform this constraint to a, a formula which equals to zero which is this one this equals to zero because this equals to one to take the one to the left and we'll get to zero so here it is this is the constraint now the Lagrange multiplier is the uh, entropy formula plus lambda times the constraints by as a formula that equals to zero now wait a second okay so uh, now how we're going to do we are going to uh, take the derivative of the Lagrange multiplier with respect to each p value p1 p2 p3 until pn and this is it and also we can take the derivative with respect to lambda but this is will be just this one equal to zero so when we're taking the derivative of each uh, pi what we're going to get is this look look at this one this is a derivative of multiplication of two function pi and log to the base of two pi so the derivative of this is the derivative of pi times log to the base of two pi which is this and then minus come from here and another one is this one times the derivative of this with respect to pi which is one uh, divided by pi times a uh, ln of two of the base this is the derivative of a logarithm so here it is and again the minus came from here and the derivative of this one or this one with respect to pi is from this we get one because pi uh, this is p1 p2 p3 until pn and pi which we are uh, taking the derivative from is one when we are uh, taking the derivative and so it's just lambda times one and this is get to zero so it's just lambda now when we are solving this one for pi we are getting pi equals to this because if you take this to the uh, if you take this to the right and yes if you take this to the right you are getting this formula this formula uh, take the inverse of log 2 or take 2 to the power of this and 2 to the power of this and you get this one yes to the power of this is just pi to the power of this is what is written here so pi we got it so from the derivative of this with respect to pi and now we are putting it in the constraint and so instead of pi we are putting this one this one and now see that this value this formula this 
thing is doesn't have n in it, so it's not uh, dependent on n. So I can take it out of the sum like this, and now sum of 1 from 1 to n is just n, so this value times n. Now you can take n down here and you get this. Now you can take log to the base of 2 and you will get from this one this. And from this one log to the base of 2 is this. Now this is like n to the power of minus 1. This is n divided by a. This is 1 divided by n. It's n to the power of minus 1. So you, get, you can take the minus 1 out and this is it and you get this. So you can isolate lambda and get for lambda this value. I took this one to the right, this one stays here, and this is it. So I got the value for lambda. Now I plug it in again. In pi, I got just here. So lambda, I will put this through here, and I get this value. And now 1 divided by ln 2 minus the same is 0, so I get this. Now this is 2 to the power of minus log 2n. You can take the minus 2 and inside, so it's n minus 1, so it's 1 divided by n. So from here, it's log to the base of 2, and this is 2, so I just get what it's in here, and the minus up here, n to the power of minus 1, which is 1 divided by n. So pi is 1 divided by n. So pi is 1 divided by n for every i. This is the solution. This will give us the optimization value. Now, how do we know that it's a maximum? Uh, I'm not... I didn't derive it, we can uh, we can see for example that uh, I didn't prove it that this is the maximum. Okay, so if I plug in sorry for not uh, proving it. If I plug in the n to divided by 1 to the formula here, what I get is this. Now, this I can turn it to this. n 1 divided by n is n to the power of minus 1. Minus 1 gets out, and we are here. Now, I have minus here, so they cancel each other, and I get this. Uh, now... When I get this, I get n times this value. So it's n times the value here. n times the value here is n times 1 divided by n, which cancel each other. And we are left behind. We are left with just this. So we got to the formula of log uh, with the base of 2 n which is the maximum now if I plug it just just to show you why it is the maximum because if I plug in here let's say 0 I get 0 right for if this is the value I tried I try but if I plug 1 divided by n this will be negative and this is negative so i'll get a positive value and if it's a an optimization value so in respect to an arbitrary value it can be all lower or higher because it's a, an optimization value maximum or minimum so if it's a minimum it will be lower for an arbitrary value if it's a maximum, it will be higher than an arbitrary value. And I took 0 as an arbitrary value. So if I plug in 0, so I get 0. But uh, it's not very good because I need that the sum of pi will be 1. But let's say I take 0. If I take 0, it's 0. And if I take 1 to divide by n, which what this is what I got for pi, I get a positive value because this is negative and this is negative. So... A positive value is greater than an arbitrary value, so it, if it's minimum or maximum, it must be a maximum. Now, I didn't prove that it's not a local maximum, local minimum, but let's assume that it must be at least local maximum.
So here it is. I got a use the Lagrange multiplier on this constraint problem with the entropy in information theory, and this is the uh, constraint, and I got the solution, which is h max equals to log to the base of 2 of n. Thank you very much. This is using the Lagrange multiplier to solve what is the maximum entropy of a system of n instances with pi probability of each one with pi sum gets to 1. Thank you very much. If there are any corrections or mistakes, please correct me. And that's it.